So I've been working remotely for four years now, maybe two or three years before the uh, coronavirus happened. And uh, I haven't been working full-time jobs. I've been working freelance, so I can work as much as I want or as little as I want. There's nobody really forcing me or expecting me to work 40 hours a week. And so I've, I've noticed that I've struggled a lot to work more hours and I paid attention, I paid very close attention to how I feel over those years and what factors affect whether I'm comfortable working or whether I get bored and watch YouTube or play video games. And the thing that I've noticed is that um, just like you, a person has a, uh, a uh, feeling of like, you know, if it's too hot, you feel like you don't want to, you want to get away from the heat, or you feel hunger. You know, you have all these really basic, really basic uh, subconscious, or not really subconscious, but automatic, yeah, really automatic, uh, inescapable um, urges. One of the urges that I've noticed is that I have an urge, or I think everybody has an urge for experiential variety. And I use that phrase, experiential variety, to refer to a broadly, not just like visual variety, um, but also auditory variety, um, smelling, new smells, new sights, new sounds, new experiences, you know, maybe even new thoughts. Um, and I've noticed that if I stay in the same room for a long time, um, if I'm working on something that's kind of repetitive, even if I'm playing a game or if I'm watching a movie or whatever, I get, I get this automatic urge for experiential variety. I want to try something new. So it's like, you know, when you watch, it's not fun to watch the same television show, the same episode of the same television show over and over again, right? You want to have, see something new. You know, it's not fun to see the same movie over and over again. It's not fun to play only, you know, the same game if it's, if it's very, you know, if it's always the same experience over and over again. It gets tiring. You want to try something new. And so what I've noticed is that um, if I'm trying to work and I'm in the same room, I will get, I will often feel bored and that will make me want to watch YouTube. And I can, I can, you know, one way to get over this, what most people do is they just take caffeine. And if you take caffeine, that numbs this very basic part of your brain that wants new experiences, that gets bored. But I don't want to take caffeine because I don't like the side effects. Um, and so what, the way that I've found to get around this is to make your environment provide you with experiential variety but also not be so distracting that you can't get work done. So for example, um, one thing that I heard a guy say in a blog post was his advice, which I think is very good advice, is if you're procrastinating, the first thing you do is you, you what, what you do is you pack your bag with your computer and as soon as you wake up, you immediately go to some new place that you've never been to before where you can work or some place where you've done work productively before and what he says which I'm not I don't totally agree with what he says is that this is getting you out of the pattern of where he says like when you stay in your home you have a you have like this automatic um, what I think, I think it's partially right you have this like uh, automatic pattern of behavior that you get into where you just, you know, you start up YouTube and you start, or you start up your video game and that gets you into procrastination. But what I really think is happening and what he doesn't say, but I think this is the real thing that's happening, is that by going into a new environment, you're getting experiential variety. You're seeing new things around you. Even if you're looking at your computer, you're still, everything around the computer is new. There's always going to be a different smell wherever you go. Um, you're going to hear different things. You'll, you'll see different people around you. So if you're getting all of that experiential variety, and that is that is um, relieving 
this automatic part of your brain that would otherwise be feel agitated in the same way that you would feel agitated if you were too hot or too cold or if you had to go to the bathroom the same kind of basic animalistic agitation feeling of agitation but for most people it's so subtle that they don't they don't put they can't put a uh, they can't put a word words to it they don't know exactly what's going on um, they just say oh I feel bored or whatever like something like that but I think that's what's happening is that you have this very basic animalistic urge to get experiential variety and I think what it is is like it's it's a survival mechanism where if you are if you're just staying in one place that is probably associated with death right because you're not going out to find new food you're not exploring your environment so you're not learning where all the food is and um, so presumably this is some very basic instinct that people that animals have to be exploring because exploring is you know makes you more likely to survive if you explore your environment um, so yeah so the way that you so in other words if you're trying to get past procrastination but you you know and you want to get work done the way to the way that I have found to do that is to get experiential variety in a way that also simultaneously allows you to get your work done so you can go sit in a new place um, other places that I found are very good are like you can go work from like uh, a bar or a nightclub um, I know Richard Feynman would go I read that he, Richard Feynman would go work from strip clubs um, I read that there was another physicist I don't remember his name um, he was one of the guys that worked on the atomic bomb he would work while having the TV on really loud and I, I suspect I don't know for sure but I suspect that it was possibly to get to dull that 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 um, desire that in like animalistic urge for experiential variety um, so yeah it's just something to think about if you're if you're interested in being more productive and you don't want to use caffeine you don't want to use stimulants consider consider you know pay attention to how you're feeling pay, consider whether you're you're having this urge for experiential variety whether you're getting you know, you're feeling uh, stale from being in the same place for too long and try bumping around, you know, jumping around to different places where you can work and uh, see if that helps you to get past that urge to start up YouTube or, or uh, video games. And, um, oh, so one of the things I would say, uh, also wanted to say is that YouTube and video games and television, they are a way to get experiential variety while also staying in the same room. So you can have experiential variety in different ways. You can, you can stay in the same room, but have this little window, you know, the television window, or the computer window, that provides you with experiential variety. Or alternatively, you can have that window being boring and dull. Um, you know, you're, look, you're doing the same work over and over again, but have everything outside around the window, you know, your environment out, around the window changing. And that will, satisfy that that urge um, another thing that I've thought about is listening to music that you know people say that or I've noticed that when I listen to music that helps me stay in the zone and I think what it's doing is it's providing me with some of that experiential variety that I'm that I'm uh, craving and it uh, but you have to pick it right you know some music if it's if it demands your attention then it's not going to work it's going to distract you from what you're doing so you um, so all of this is just things that I've noticed in the past two years or so two or three years and it's uh, it was not obvious to me before why I was feeling bored but now that I've noticed this and I suspect that I've discovered the reason for it now I feel much better uh, better equipped to deal with it and I know how to relieve that and I know how to get past it so I just, uh, I hope you find that helpful. I think it's very interesting.